Jason Kilmer, professional detailer. I've always had a love affair for cars, hot rods, boats, drag racing, NASCAR, anything with uh, wheels, tires, and a motor I was into. So I was always a, a gearhead and a car kid, car guy, uh, car person, however you want to put it. Um, I went to Clover Park Te Technical College where we did auto body and paint. And that's where I started doing body work and paint work. And then I segued into the detailing portion of it. And I've been detailing ever since. Um, from there, we did a stint with collision shops. Knew that wasn't where I wanted to be. I wanted to be more on the custom side of things. And I really had a fascination for the details, for scratches, for swirls, for clean wheels, clean tires. And so I started detailing high-end hot rods uh, at the age of 21, 22. We worked for some high-end collections in my local area. And then from there, we started doing Pebble Beach cars. Uh, I did my first Pebble Beach car in 2008. Uh, won uh, Best of Show at Pebble Beach. That same year, we did for Rambo. Uh, which was the Riddler winner also of 2008. So I kind of segued both uh, basically high-end shows in the same year. Um, from that point, we worked with a bunch of different high-end body shops uh, on the custom side of things, Pebble Beach stuff still. And we did that for a number of years. I worked for uh, another large manufacturer where I started teaching and I fell into, fell into the love affair of teaching and showing people how to do detailing uh, from a professional level, as well as uh, weekend warrior uh, slash, you know, type of work. Um, from that point, we started working with different manufacturers uh, develop, developing products and helping different manufacturers, giving in my opinion, uh, whatever that means. And then I continue teaching and that's where we currently are. Teaching around the country uh, mainly, but going outside of the US and teaching in different countries. Um, and product development still, but my own tools and I modify um, whatever I need, and we start making tools and other different products for detailers. Um, so yeah, we uh, still detail cars on the side every once in a while, but mainly my focus is on teaching. Uh, that's what I currently do, and uh, we really enjoy it. So many of you know that uh, I was born with a stroke uh, at birth, which caused cerebral palsy on my right side. Um, and that makes me the person who I am, but it also makes me the detailer. And you ask, how can a disability make me, make me a better detailer? Well, it's, it's very, very simple. I've faced challenges in my life and, and physical challenges, um, not mental, but physical, where I've had to adapt, make tools work for me, make scenarios and, and, and do things you look at my process, you know, over the years, if you've studied my career and, and you think, wow, he does it vastly different from everybody else. And there's a certain complexity that he understands that nobody else either understands or he understands it better than anybody else. And that's because I've had to use different senses, if that makes sense, to get the same effect. Um, do things differently to make it work for me because of my challenges. Not only is my, my cerebral palsy my arm, the more challenging thing is actually my left eye is lack. I have almost no depth perception in my left eye. So now you have the right side that's impaired and then the left eye that's impaired. So now I'm kind of cattywampus or backwards. So I've really had to hone in on my skills that I have or don't have, and I've had to adapt uh, the tools and the procedures uh, to fit what I'm capable or not capable of doing. 
which doesn't make it bad. But I think when I teach, I teach as if someone has those limitations. So I teach at a very simplistic level where it tries to, you know, impact the person and make sense to the individual that I'm teaching. And it seems to work out very well. Um, I've, we've had a lot of good feedback on it, but uh, it is vastly different. Um, but it, uh, it works very well and it's worked for many other detailers, uh, my style. And uh, we just keep on rolling with it. Training to me is my passion now. Um, I love it. The part that I love about it is, is taking someone that has necessarily never touched a polisher, knows nothing about detailing, but th it's something that they want to learn. And showing them the hand movements and the, the movements of the machine and how the little things that really a lot of detailers don't even think about can make such an impact on people, um, on their careers, their life, their emotions. Uh, just how they view, maybe they've detailed or they want to detail and you give them this boost to energy that, you know, we've, we've trained detailers for a long time now. And we have seen a couple detailers really rise to that occasion and are vastly different detailers now, making more money, better pro end result, better products and happier customers. And, and to me, being an instructor, being a teacher, that's the best thing that you can ask for is to have an email, to have a message, say, hey, the way you do things, you've really changed my career and I really appreciate that. Um, we get messages probably once a week on that um, of inspirational type of messages that really keeps me going and, and that's why I love teaching because you can visually make an impact on people's lives um, and making shiny cars and happy customers. I mean, to me, it doesn't get any better than that.